and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be tackling another art myth and that is that you can learn painting all in one go. And I'm going to be sharing the one thing I did in my artwork that changed and improved my artwork dramatically with this one thing. So this takes me back to about 10 years ago when I'm learning to paint and I'm feeling frustrated with every single painting I'm making. Nothing seems to be quite working, but the main problem was is that I didn't know what was wrong. And when you don't know what's wrong, you don't know how to improve it. And if you're like me, you know that improving your artwork does take time and does take energy. But unfortunately, most beginner artists make the number one mistake and this is a mistake that I made of trying to learn how to paint, period. And in fact, many art lessons or art courses or even YouTube videos, they teach painting as if it was one skill, which isn't the easiest way to see improvement. And it's actually a sure way of feeling very frustrated um, in your artwork. And I have tried and tested all the methods over 10 years, and this was the one fastest way that you will see real improvement in your skills so that you can finally start mastering your paintings and creating what you want in the way that you want it. And this method was one I actually like discovered and fell upon by accident because I just was trying everything and I kind of like muddled my way through. And this is now the method that I teach uh, students to go through. And that is that painting is not one skill, but it's actually made up of five core skills drawing, composition, value, colour and technique. Now, if you don't break down painting into these five core skills um, and focus on them individually, you will actually see a little improvement if you just focus on painting as a whole. Um, this is a cycle that you can get then go around to continue making the same mistakes because you don't fully maybe understand the mistakes that you're even making and this is the issue that I had as well. And this is what leads you to basically be dissatisfied uh, with your paintings and that's why going to an art class or following a tutorial it might help you paint uh, that specific painting or that like that specific artist and recreate their painting or recreate their style um, but it won't give you the tools to be able to paint anything that you want in your style in the way that you want to paint it which ultimately means that you're then chained to copying others and relying on these tutorials to be able to paint what you want. Um, but when you break this painting down into the five core skills, first of all focus on them, it makes you realise um, what you're really good at what needs a bit more work um, <laughs> and then you can focus on improving those skills individually and that is how you see really fast improvement because you can really hone in and focus in on each skill at a time and then when you step back and bring them all together this is how you then create whatever you want and literally bring your like vision to life uh, on the paper on the canvas uh, in your own style from your own imagination from your own ideas now if this concept is a little bit um, strange, <laughs> then I've got a little illustration that might just help um, help you understand like my thinking. So imagine like a dancer, which is just a f another form of creative expression, right? It's an art skill in itself. So we can break dancing down into these core skills like uh, coordination, flexibility, uh, musicality, uh, memory, stamina, um, all of these are like individual skills, um, but it requires all of them to work together. So a dancer might decide that they need to work on their flexibility and then hone in on that specific skill and do certain exercises to increase their flexibility. But then that will then leak into improving their whole performance as a dancer. So when we can break down painting into these five core skills, it gives us so much power because not only can we really focus on improving our work, it then actually gives us this another amazing superpower to critique our own work because then we can look at a painting and realize exactly what's wrong with it and exactly what we need to do to fix it and that is something that I was missing in my painting process for so long that it kind of felt like a gamble every time I painted like oh will this work out I'm not sure and um, but when you have this uh, like superpower that you can kind of look at things and notice exactly what isn't right then you know how to put it right and so you know how to like fix your painting essentially so I teach my students that an actual process to run through after each painting it's kind of like a little skill check like you know you get like a doctor's checkup <laughs> and uh, you check up on these different skills to see what needs fixing or maybe something's missing because after all if um if you don't know what the problem is how can you fix the problem like 
to be able to fix a problem, you need to know what the problem is. And this alone can literally take you from second guessing uh, your paintings and even yourself to then feeling confident um, in your artwork because you suddenly know what needs to happen and how you can improve. So if you would like more guidance on learning this five skill framework, I would love 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 to help you see improvement really fast in your artwork this is what i'm passionate about because i know the difference it's made in my life in my artwork and in myself feeling confident and this is what i want other people to feel like i don't want um other artists to carry on feeling frustrated in their artwork when you don't need to <laughs> so if that sounds like something you would like if you'd like to improve your artwork then i will pop a link in the description box to a free workshop where you can learn more about it and how uh, you can actually put this into your own art practice and process and improve your work in the fastest and the easiest way um, so i'll pop the link in the description box just head to that link and you can sign up for the workshop or i'll also pop um, in the corner of this video a little card where you can click on it and it will also take you to that page so yeah i hope that you enjoyed that little uh, perspective shift and i hope you have a really beautiful inspiring day wherever you are and whatever you're doing for the rest of the day and um, i hope it is full of inspiration thanks so so much and i'll see you soon bye